Um, hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Book Scoop. Uh, we're out here in the back patio um, because as you may know, the library is closed this week. Yeah. <laughs> um, so just a little update on a, a scale of one to 10 for catastrophes. This feels like a 15, but it probably only is actually a six. <laughs> um, we did discover bed bugs. Uh, on some books that were returned to the library and so we've had to uh, have the exterminators in. It's a uh, requires two treatments a week apart and we figured to be safe we just close during that week um, and be sure that the problem is totally taken care of when we reopen. So the plan is to reopen next Monday the 26th mm -hmm. um, which is just in time for the program I want to talk to you about. <laughs> um, Nancy Defoe, a local author who has written memoirs and uh, mysteries and literary fiction and poetry and books on education, is going to be doing a memoir writing workshop for us next week. It's called Everyone Has a Story, Mystery in the Memoir, and um, the first session will be Monday the 26th from 5.30 to 6.30 and there'll be a second section, session on Thursday. They kind of build on each other, so if you can come to both, great. Um, yeah, and that starts next Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So email if you're interested in coming. Um, I have um, a little kind of a teaser about Read Fest. We haven't done this before. It's going to be the second weekend of July, so Friday and Saturday, the 7th and 8th. We have different activities scheduled on Friday and Saturday that hopefully everyone would be able to um, figure out something to attend. Um, on uh, Friday, we have a book folding class for adults. We have um, a make dinner together and book talk for kids entering third through sixth grade. Um, that evening, we have a program for adults um, to kind of read, we'll read a children's book ahead of time and then talk about how do you talk to kids in your life about children's books or maybe just realize that children's books are great for everyone. Um, it's 7 a.m. on Saturday. March is going to do a sunrise story time and we're going to have pancakes for you too. So come in your jammies, eat pancakes, and hear, hear a story or two or three. Um, and then at one o'clock on Saturday, the great and powerful Dave, who you might know as Moreland the Magician, is going to be here for a program. It's also the second Saturday farmer's market that day. So lots to do. Some of them are required for sign up. So check our website and um, check Facebook for that. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a um, little um, review of this book. It's called Oop, George, a Magpie Memoir. And, oh, sorry, Priscilla. That's okay. I stepped on her toe. <laughs> um, it's written by Frida Hughes. Uh, she's a British author and poet and artist. And one day she finds a destroyed magpie nest and the parents are gone and there's this little young magpie that she names George and that she takes into her house and she takes care of him and this book is about um, her uh, her bonding with the magpie um, it is a very nicely written book I, maybe because she's a poet her, her, her language is, is, is different. I cannot really pinpoint how. Um, I did learn two, at least two new words, <laughs> akimbo and schmeckles. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look both up. Um, um, and it's, she, because she takes care of him, she starts looking very closely to this, this bird and as with everything that you you know you take care of you start to see all the details and see how nifty things really mm -hmm. are you know instead of just glancing them over um, of course in the end it's also a little tragic when she has to let him go um, but the book is also about her life about her marriage it's funny how she is very good at describing her marriage through the issues and the joys that she and her husband have over this magpie. Um, 
and it's it's very beautiful beautifully illustrated with drawings that I'm sure she made herself because nowhere in the it's, book yeah, there's yeah, acknowledgments yeah. for another uh, um, artist except for the cover she did not do the cover so when we're back open get this book and um, enjoy a never boring insight in Frida Hughes life all right all right well thank you all and we'll hopefully see you soon